what's going on guys it's your boy peter and i'm back again with another video man i know it's been a long time i made video here on youtube and that is because i'm actually in the process of moving out of my apartment so i'm going to be doing more live videos like this you know what i'm saying i actually got this web camera for uh live videos so i feel like live videos are way more better uh so that way we can actually interact in person you know what i mean but yeah today i'm going to be talking about what to expect as a new hired aircraft maintenance engineer i feel like i get a lot of questions from people that try to get to the industry um even me too when i was in school it was actually one of the questions i usually ask myself you know what should i expect from these companies i'm trying to work for as a apprentice do these companies actually want me to know all about the aircraft system do they expect me to have all my tools you know what kind of qualifications are they looking for as a new hired aircraft maintenance engineer because at the end of the day our goal here is to get our first job you know pass our probation get our license and also you know move forward in life right so today i'm going to be giving you guys uh what most companies do expect as a new hired aircraft maintenance engineer apprentice um, and this information is all based from my personal experience, right? So for every other person, they can have different experience. So when you first get hired as an apprentice, for the most part, in most companies I have worked for, most companies do not expect you to know everything. They want you to have a basic foundation, a basic educational foundation about aircraft system. But for the most part, they don't expect you to know everything about aircraft. I remember when I graduated school, like I said, my goal in school when I was in school, right? My goal was actually to pass. I feel like, which is a bad thing. It's not bad, but it's also, it's a little bit bad. You know what I'm saying? Because my goal when I was in school was just to pass with accreditation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really wanted to just pass my classes with accreditation. So that way, when I'm in the process of getting my license, I just have to do an exam, right? One exam, which is the CARS exam. So I did not really learn that much in school. So which kind of created a lot of fear when I got my first job because I'm like, fuck, do all these companies have to, do they expect me to know about all this aircraft system? Because, bro, I was just started, whenever I study, I just study to pass. I did not study to actually learn the system. So when you get hired as an apprentice, most companies do not expect you to like, know everything about aircraft you know what i'm saying even to be honest that's why they do have this program this um apprenticeship program right so when you get hired as an apprentice what usually what most companies actually do is they pair you up with a licensed person someone that has a lot of experience so that way within like your first three months of let's say your probation is like six months your first three months of your probation you are actually going to be working with that licensed person. So that person can actually teach you more about the aircraft, how to use your tools, how to um, use your AMM, how to use your IPC. Because in school, right, they actually teach you all these things, but it's way different when you learn something in school and you actually see it in real life. I remember in school, they were talking about AMM. Yes, I remember. I know what AMM is, but do I know how to actually you know, open an AMM, how to find the 88 chapters. No, you actually learn those things when you start working. So for you guys that are thinking that most companies will actually expect you to know everything right out of school, no. For the most part, actually, most companies actually want you to not even know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because that way they can actually build you up, you know? So when you get hired as an apprentice, do not panic. Trust me. Unless if you're, you know, you got some bad luck or something, you get a job in like a really, really, I don't know, weird company. But for the companies I have worked for, they are actually really good in mentorship. So they will pair you up with a licensed person so that person can actually teach you. That person can actually teach you not only the aircraft system, but also the company system. But the thing I noticed um, when I was an apprentice, the thing I noticed they were actually paying more attention to was actually my punctuality so my attendance so as i had i had a new hired apprentice right you got to make sure you are on time you got to make sure you come to work early because those are the things that i can actually get you fired easily because 
I was, I'll give you guys an example, right? When I got a, when I got my apprentice job in um Tuareg, Quebec, I did not have a car there the first, uh, let's say the first couple months. And the the bus system was terrible. Like it's really terrible down there. So I was trying to go to work. I was taking a bus every time, but for some times I, I was a little bit late. And I remember like I was late for like, like three times in a row. And but they called me. They were like, "I'm going to give you the last money." And when you come late next time, you're definitely going to get fired. You know what I'm saying? So those are the things they actually look at, like look forward to, right? You got to make sure your attendance is a point. And something I also noticed some apprentices are actually slacking on is, so you want to you understand, right? As a new hired apprentice, right? There's a lot of eyes on you. People are trying to see what kind of person you are. People are trying to study you. So are you that type of lazy person or are you that type of person that does not know something but you're le- you ready to learn? For me, it's like as an apprentice, I kind of had an idea of what to expect when I was in school, right? Because my professor told me a story, a personal story was like, I remember when he got hired as an apprentice and there was one time it was not busy at all and his uh, manager back then told him to start measuring the the screws, the length of the screws, and he measured like almost 200 screws. You know what I'm saying? Those are the things they might actually test with just to see what kind of person you are. So for you guys that get hired as an apprentice, right, you'll be in a lot of situations, especially for you guys that get jobs in like, let's say, line maintenance, you'll definitely be in a situation where, by, let's say it's not that busy, but you want to be that type of person that when it's not busy, you carry the broom, you sweep. You know what I'm saying? When it's not busy, you do like a, like you arrange the whole hanger because those are the things that will actually keep your job, that will actually make them feel like, okay, yeah, they can actually trust you because those little things actually goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember when I first got hired too, those are the qualities I had that I feel like, you know, have helped me out throughout my whole career as an apprentice. So for you guys that are, get hired as an apprentice yes you don't know a lot but you have to have that mentality to you have that eager to learn you know what i'm saying you have that you have that mentality that okay yes i don't know i, I don't know that much as an apprentice but you know whenever let's say an ame an ame is doing something and you want to be that type of person that will grab a flashlight hey you no know, i'm gonna I'm shine a flashlight for you you know what i'm saying those are the things people actually look look at that will actually help you a uh, help you out a lot you know what i'm saying so and also one question that i actually get a lot is the tools for the tools um actually a, a subscriber of my hair me recently was like you know what kind of tools um should i get as an apprentice um what me i usually say is that as an apprentice you don't you don't build your tools right away you build your tools according to your experience so down the line and down like once you get your license, once you get more experience, you will know what kind of tools you actually need. Like for me, like when I first got hired, I remember I was going to Canadian Tires, those buying all type of tools. Like I did not need those tools. I did not. And for the most part, companies do not need you to have all your tools. They know you are an apprentice, you're straight out of school. They're not going to criticize you because you don't have all your tools. So you want to make sure you just go for the basic tools like your screwdriver, your wrenches, your nipex plier, your side cutters. Those are the basic tools you need. And the more you get more experience, the more you start working, you can actually start building your tools. You know what I mean? So for the tools, I usually recommend you guys to just buy like a used tools. You don't have to buy no expensive tools. Or For me, when I... Like, like, like I said, right, when I graduated school, I was just buying a bunch of tools from Canadian Tires and I wasted a lot of money. But nowadays, I just go to Facebook Market. I go to Kijiji and I buy used tools. At the end of the day, like, tools are tools, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's a calibrated tool or something. You know what I'm saying? So for your tools, you don't want to go too crazy on your tools. But once you start getting more experience, you start understanding what kind of tools you need, what kind of tools for this job. But the most important thing, I would say that we actually keep you keep your job is you have that you have to show the company that you have that 
eager to learn. You have that drive. You have that passion to learn. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the things they are actually looking for. They know as an apprentice, you do not know that much. You know what I'm saying? And we all, we all start from somewhere. You know, like me, what I know right now, I did not know it five years ago. You know what I'm saying? So they know you do not know that much as an apprentice. But the, the qualities they are looking for is like someone that is punctual, you know, someone that is eager to learn, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, those are the few things uh, most companies expect from you as a new hired apprentice. Uh, I try to make this live video as fast as possible. I know my plan is to actually do this like literally every day, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully by tomorrow, I'm going to get back here on YouTube and go live again uh, so we can all have a conversation. And I know a lot of you guys ask me questions. Oh, when would I get the next a day in my life video? Um, right now I'm not working. Uh, I'll be back to work in February. So once I'm back to work in February, then I'm going to start putting up a lot of uh, a day in my life as a aircraft mechanic video. So yeah, um, I try to make this video as fast as possible. I appreciate all the love for you guys that are new to my channel. My name is Peter. I'm an aircraft maintenance engineer or aircraft mechanic or AMP technician, whatever you call it. And my goal here on YouTube is to spread awareness about this career and also educate people that are trying to get into this career, you know, because I was in the same situation where I was looking for information online, but there was not a, literally a lot of information online. So, yeah, if you find this video helpful, um, do not forget to like, share. And subscribe, man. I love you guys.